hey everybody welcome back to my channel i'm back with this look and i hope you guys enjoy this video it's pretty short so let's get into it taking the morphe 35 opal i'm gonna take that first shade i'm gonna put that on the brow bone as my first transition shade then i'm just gonna work that in and wish wiper motions back and forth then taking that first orange shade i'm gonna put that on top of that one overlapping the colors and we're just gonna work that in Then taking this other reddish shade, reddish orange shade, I'm gonna put that into the crease. And I'm using a more uh, like tapered blending brush to kind of work that into the crease area because I want that crease to be nice and bright and kind of deep because later on we're gonna cut the crease. It's hard to describe the colors because the colors in these palettes don't have any names, so bear with me. <laughs> But then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush, and this is a brush from Wet n Wild. It costs a dollar, and I'm gonna just blend those colors out. Then I'm gonna take this pencil brush with that dark brown shade, and I'm just gonna put that into the crease, like I said, because I wanted it to be just a little deep, because I wanted to go ahead later on, and I'm going to um, cut the crease. Taking that same blending brush, I'm just gonna go back in, like I said, and I'm just going to blend everything out. Then I'm gonna take the MAC Pro Long um, Concealer in the shade NC42, and I'm just going to cut that crease out where I'm going to later on put that MAC pigment. Then we're gonna do the same to the other eye and try and get them as um, close as possible. Uh, but y'all know me, it just don't happen that way. So I just go with the flow and I do what looks good to me and what works for me. <laughs> because I can never do things the same. I swear I can't. I can never, one eye is different than the other. One eye is shaped differently than the other one. So they seem to always come out different, but hey, it looks good, so that's all that counts. <laughs> then I'm gonna take some translucent, translucent powder and I'm just going to set that concealer. Taking the MAC pigment in the shade Rose and the Inglot Duraline uh, liquid, I'm just going to tap my brush into that Duraline um, liquid and then tap it into the pigment and pat it on the eye where I cut that crease out. Taking that chocolate brown shade out that 35O palette from Morphe, I'm just going to tap that onto the outer V of my eye so that you really can't tell where the eyeshadow starts or stops. And I'm just going to blend those two together. Then I'm gonna go back into that second reddish brown shade and I'm just going to try and blend some of that brown out because it was like too brown. I didn't want it that brown, but yeah. I did my face off of camera and then I'm just going to set it and I'm going to take that Wet n Wild um, Illuminating Highlighter. I don't know exactly what it's called. It's not by me, but I'm going to take that. And um, yeah, it was really pretty. It wasn't as um, pigmented as the other Wet n Wild highlighters were. Um, I was kind of mm, disappointed, but it was a nice, um, you know, subtle glow. So if you want a subtle glow and you don't want to be like... Uh, beam me up Scotty glow. Uh, yeah grab that one if you know cuz what and wow They really doing a thing with the highlighters. So Go and get it Then for lips. I'm gonna take Jordana's lip pencil and Tierra kisses and I am going to line my lips with this now this color is like a Like a brownish kind of like 
burgundy. Yeah, it looks really nice with all kinds of pinks. And then I'm going to take this Wet n Wild lipstick in Really Pink, I think it's called. Um, if I'm going to leave everything down in the description bar. And I'm just going to put this on my lips and blend them together. Finishing up the eyes, I'm going to go back into that 35 O palette. I'm going to take that dark brown shade and I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take that second uh, orange shade and I'm just going to blend that out. To open up the eyes, I took a frosty um, pink shade out of that 35O palette and I'm just going to pop that into the inner corners. This is a trick to help open up the eyes, so that's what I'm going to do. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was pretty short and sweet and straight to the point. Don't forget to like comment and yeah subscribe subscribe to my channel i have more videos coming i thank you guys for all your support until next time you guys